Hey, Staten Island. How you doing, Staten Island? Hey, welcome to the program. What's cooking? That's right, the only show on Staten Island that answers the most serious question ever. What's cooking? That's right. Now, uh, uh, my name is, uh, is Jeff. My name is Sam. That's right, Jeff and Sam here. Now, we're in the back lot of the studios here today. That's right. We're, uh, you know, like an industrial setting, and uh, right. we're trying to get some food, and we're going to give you some tips. That's and right. And then we're going to receive some tips yep. about Labor Day. Hello. Hello. Caller, we seem Hello. to be interfering. Pass interception interference. Listen, what you need to do is make sure oh, you... Oh, well, you watching the football game? That's a story for another That's time. That's a story. Hello? All right, all right. I have to go now, guys. Thank you for calling. Have a great holiday weekend. Get cooking out there. That's right. And uh, as you can see, we got some assorted things over assorted here. Assorted goodies. The tool of any great chef, the spatula. That's right, this spatula. This can be used in a variety of different ways to That's cook. That's right. We got tongs, also known as the grabber. And we got our fruity juice fruity over juice. here for fruity fellas. That's right. Now, uh, here's the thing. Oh, we got another caller. Caller, you're on. What's cooking, caller? Paula, what's cooking this weekend on Staten Hello? Island? Hello? You're hey, on Carla? the air. What's cooking? What's cooking? Hello? Are you cooking meatballs? You just took a, a meatball? Are we cooking meatballs? You know, we're not cooking meatballs. I wish. My grandmother cooks the I meatballs. I wish we Thank could. You. I wish maybe this weekend. Are you cooking meatballs this weekend? What's she calling? What's that? Maybe. Are you okay, Carla? Well, you know, we don't have chicken today. No. We, we, got, uh, we got hot dogs. Yeah, we got some beef franks. Now, let's actually talk about these for a second. These are state-of-the-art beef franks. Now, keep in mind here, um, you want to make sure you get state-of-the-art franks for your holiday party. Nobody wants to go to a holiday party with not primo beef, beef you know, primo beef. You know, primo beef. Am I right? Primo beef. Primo this is beef. The, the top of the line beef that you can get. Top we, of the line. We cook it uh, to, to a nice crisp. Right. As you right. can see, they're right. cut in the middle. That's what we like to do. We like right. to make the little cut marks. The most important question we could ask you before holiday weekend, and that is what's cooking, cooking on Staten your Island? Island? That's right. We, we want to know what foods you like to cook on Labor Day. What are you doing for Labor Day yes. this year? Yes. Because we know what we're doing. We're going to be making some hot dogs and some Hamburgers. other fruity things like that. But we got a lot of different things that we want to talk about, That's including right. some of the worst foods that you could That's possibly right. That's make. That's right. There's a lot of foods you can go to barbecues and just be disappointed at the foods that are presented at you. We don't want that to happen to you and your friends this weekend. We want to make sure you guys eat the best primo food out there. <coughs> Excuse me. I just got a... Primo food out there. <coughs> Excuse me, I just gotta. I gotta call you're on here. the air. What's cooking? Hi, how do you cook your hot dogs? Do you cook your hot dogs on, on a rock, in the plane, in the sky, on a river? How do you do that? Do we cook them on a river? Oh, I had a bitch. Do you cook them on a river? Yeah, uh, we, with apples, the best thing I find to do is cut them in half, yep. and then cut them in half again, right. and then you have quadruple apple. That's right, it's called a quartet. And then you put them on the grill for a little bit, make them a little bit nice, a little crisp, and then what you do is get a real food. We don't cook apples, That's we cook right. meat. Meat, and meat only. If you want apples, you can eat what them about, what in the- about on, a, um, um, uh, on a basketball court? Yeah, we can, yeah, you you know, can do you, that. We, we, you know, we throw them. We like meat. We like to cook meat and eat it on Labor Day because right. we, that's what we do. That's what we're, we do. We're men. We're that's the what men. we do. So, what's, we're laborers. Bye. Hey, thank you so much for calling. You make sure you have a great cooking holiday weekend, all right? That's right. All right, now I want to point out a little something here. We're hoping for beautiful weather this holiday weekend, and uh, nothing says it's a holiday weekend like some beautiful weather. We went through some uh, tough times last weekend, as you know, Staten Island. We had a, a little bit of a, a little rainstorm. Little. You could call it a hurricane if you wish. Uh, and, you, you know, it was a little bit of a, a trying time, but right. we're hoping to have some good weather this weekend right. for Labor Day. That's right. It's Labor Day weekend. You know what they say? Labor Day's a major day. That's right. I was wondering, how do you even fry a jellyfish? And then I went over to my brother Pete's house. Pete, and, that and guy. Pete, let me tell you, he's got the fried jellyfish up on there, and it just blew my mind. God. He had some sausage, some peppers, uh, some onions, but it didn't help. Uh, God bless the guy, but the guy can't cook. <laughs> let me tell you. It's all right, though. It's all right. 
What are you guys cooking this holiday weekend? Hey, Carla, what are you cooking? You're cooking fried jellyfish? I hope not. My brother. Hey, how you guys doing over there? Good. How, right, you how doing? are you? All right. My name is Rocco Tuscadero. Hey, Rocco. How you doing? What's up? I'm all right. What else are you guys making? I, what's going on with those juice drinks over there? Well, what we're doing, uh, this is my fruity juice. Uh, this is what I drink when alcoholic beverage. I, you know, I stopped that. But I don't do the, the alcohol. You like fruity juice, Cole? You it's like just to get silly with the fruity juice? <laughs> Basically, what this is is just it's it's a nectar. It's a nectar that's really healthy for you. We like to stay healthy this holiday weekend. You got to make sure you hydrate, especially if it's going to be sunny out. Yeah, you got that. Well, listen, you guys have a great holiday over there. Hey, Thanks. you too. Thank you for calling. Keep that tradition alive. I like to hear all that right, Italiano all, all the way. Enjoy your sausage Italia. and peppers. Hey, all right. Thanks for calling, man. Now you see here, Staten Island is calling in. A lot of people excited for the weekend. You know, that's it's right. an exciting time. We got a lot of things coming up this weekend. A lot for us. of things. But they're mostly barbecue and meat related. Right. So right. if you like meat, let me tell you something. This right here is one of the best, cheapest foods you can ever get. It's That's right. wonderful. And what it is, is a hot dog. You can't That's beat right. hot dogs. When they first invented America, now you might say, wait a second. Hold on a second, Jeff. Did they invent America? In a way, it's an invention, as much as it was a discovery, because what was invented was hot dogs and hamburgers. That's right. And that says American Labor Day right there. It's a nice hot dog. We got to celebrate the country. Got to celebrate. A better way to do it than all American food of hot dog hamburgers. hamburgers. Carla, what are you cooking this weekend? Carla, are you cooking Hello. this weekend? How you doing? Hey, my name is Freda Torres. I'm from South Beach. Freda Torres, doing, Freda? Nice, nice to talk to you. Yeah, you guys should go fuck you. All right, Freda. Very nice, kind words from Freda. Real nice guy. Thank you for calling. He's not cooking right now. That's, that's for sure. Let me tell you something. That's not cooking. Not cooking. That is, that is raw. There's a lot of people that like to get out there on public television. They like to say a word or two. But let me tell you something. No matter what, you're still cooking just the same as we are. That's right, that's right. Caller, you're on the air. Yeah, you going What's to that? What's cooking? Caller, you on the air. Hey, is this Sammy? What's that? Is this Sammy? Yeah, this is Sammy. How you doing? Oh my God, Sammy, this is Johnny from Brooklyn. I've been trying to call in. It's been busy all night. Caller, I have a bad feeling. I know you from someplace. Maybe we just met tonight. Maybe not too no, long ago. I wish we met tonight, Sammy. Oh. I see you on TV with that long mustache. I just want to yank it and kiss those lips. All it, right. You know what? It's a beautiful thing. A beautiful uh, thing. I, let me tell Sammy, you something. Is there any way I can leave my phone number with the with the guys picking up the phone and then maybe we can meet up later? No, no. I'm sorry. I have a, a Sammy, dear I wife. I want to pull your hair. Agatha, let me tell you something. A man's mustache is almost as good as a man's hot dog. The only way you can get better than That's this fine. mustache is if you just kind of like curl a hot dog night, into Sammy. the shape I can see that. of a mustache. You I see can that? see that. If it's not That's meat. really manly okay, when you get like a hot dog mustache with... right in there. Yep. Something you could do this holiday weekend, maybe. That's right. Try you know? it with the kids. Make I'll a few jokes. Family. Make some hot dog animals. Weekend. I'm going to leave my information. Okay. All right. Have a great holiday weekend. You stay cooking out there. We love you. We love you. Thank you for calling. Now, uh, how is everybody else doing on Staten Island? I know we got so much, so much going on this weekend. It's a That's holiday. Right. And, it's and a holiday. You know, you were talking before about the Richmond County Fair, but let me, let me bring up a few more things about the Richmond <coughs> County Fair. How you doing? Fruit juice? <coughs> oh, that fruit juice. It went down the wrong pipe. went down the wrong pipe. Let me it's tell right. you, there's, there's also, in the Richmond County Fair, there's pig races. Oh, wow. Could you believe it? Can't believe I it. I usually eat pigs. There's a... A flying flea circus. Unbelievable. That doesn't sound too amazing. Maybe hey, it is. Maybe it is. Fleas, all right. Then you got the, the BMX bike stunt show. That sounds unbelievable. And uh, Scott's family magic show. Unbelievable. I know Scott. He's from the neighborhood. Scott's a nice guy. He's been at the barbecue. His family puts on a good show. Yeah, he's nice. Carla, you cooking this weekend? Yeah, I'm fucking cooking a lot. All right. So, uh... Call again. What a, what a cooker. What a cooker that guy was. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of good uh, people on Staten Island, but they're not calling tonight. <laughs> <laughs>
So what I, I want you to do <laughs> is I want you to that's the thing. I mean, it's the fruity juice. It the makes you feel make, fruity deep yeah, down. A little giggly. Now let's talk about what we're cooking, all right? We said before, good American hot dog. Let's open the buns and talk to you guys about the right placement of the hot dogs. That's and, right. And how you want to make sure that your your holiday weekend is filled with great food that's and right. great party. Now here's an example, first of all, of what you might grill with. Okay, this is state of the art technology. Uh, it's very, very uh, expensive. Basically, you have uh, a screen of some sort, and That's then right. below that you have charcoal. charcoal. And uh, once the charcoal catches Kindle, uh, that's when you can put the meat on there and sear it till it hits a nice, delicious cook. cook. That's right. Now, there's no problem with slow cooking. I think a lot of people are always in a rush to eat a nice hot dog on the holiday weekend. Take your time. Be patient with the meat. You want to make sure you slow cook it because slow cooking equals good eating. And you want to enjoy it. You get to eat it slow. If it's cooked slow, it gets a roast all the way through the meat there. That's right. Right? You do that. Yeah, slow yeah. cook it a little bit. Yeah, you bit. slow cook a little bit. So, uh, why don't you give us a call? The number's right here, 718. Go ahead. 727. Seven, seven. Seven. Now, we're saying we're going to talk about how you're going to place the meat, how you want to do it. Yeah. So it's a very delicate process. That's right. right. Let, me, let me grab one so okay. maybe you can show me. You can sure, teach sure. me. Well, here's what you want to do. First and foremost, this is a common this is a common mistake a lot of people make. You know, some people like, like the buns uncooked. But I would recommend highly just tossing them on the grill. Look, Something like toss this them right on the there. Grill. Toss them on the grill. Now, this is important right here. You don't want to place them on the grill. It's all about tossing them on an open fire. See that? Look at that. Because what's going to happen is it's going to sear right through. As soon as it hits the fire, it's going to sear sure right through. Make sure it sears right. That's right. Sear it right through. Yep. Make sure it's pressed down right on the, on the, on the fire there. You want to get a nice toast right through there. Make sure you know you got a lot of uh, rivets That's right. in, the, in the flesh of the, the, of the, bun. Of the bun. Now, once it's done being toasted, Turn it around. Turn it around. It might break a little bit, but guess what? When it's toasted, it'll be harder, so it'll be a little bit more manageable. Good, good. Once it's completely toasted there, you got your, your dogs cooking right next to you over here. You got a dog right here. There's a dog. Just put one there. It's fine. All right, put them all there. You got a dog right there. And what you do is you want to toss the bun. Look at Toss the bun toss right the in. Bun? Toss the bun right in. That's and maybe it. Say this is ketchup or mustard. You maybe throw a little, little bit of that on there, and then suddenly you have a Labor Day hot dog. L Labor Day hot dog. Camera guy, can we get a close-up Can we get a close-up of this the Labor Day hot dog? Look at that this, Labor Day hot look dog. Look at that. This is Labor Day hot dog for you and for us. And that says holiday weekend. You want to you enjoy your weekend. You want you to work too hard. I want you to have an enjoyable weekend. And That's right. What, what, what a big part of it, enjoying yourself is sitting back, relaxing, having some great barbecue food. Call some tunes. Call what are you cooking, Carla? Hey, what's up, guys? This is Big Show from South Beach. Hey, how's it going, man? Good, man. Every holiday, you got to get your holiday pizza. That's right. That's right. What kind? I don't know. Fucking oh, sorry. Regular pizza, man. Regular pizza, deep dish, whatever. You want to get tomatoes, sauce. That's true, man. I want to tell you a recommendation, okay? Oh, yeah? Here's what you want to do with that pizza. I want you to cook it in the oven, get a little crisp, and then right when it's almost done, take it out, toss it on the grill for a minute. You're going to get a nice little charcoal underneath it. It's going to be burnt but just enough to make it crispy. It gives a little bit of a barbecue flavor to your holiday uh, tradition. What do you think? I agree, man. Barbecue pizza is the best. There you go. True there enough. you go. True enough. If you ever have a problem with cooking anything, especially during a holiday weekend, throw it on the grill. Game over. Hey, man. Thanks, guys. Yo, and South Beach loves you. Don't listen to that last guy. That's right. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you for calling. We love South Beach, and we love all of Staten Island. Guess what? You're a nice cooker, man. Thanks for calling. All right, man. Take care. Don't get, get got to get those potato rolls. All right, that's right. Potato. Maybe we will. Maybe Thanks we will. Thanks for calling, man. A lot of nice calls coming in. That's actually. right. That's you nice. know, Very it's nice. good to see some love. And uh, you know, uh, there's a thing that we get sometimes. I don't know what it means. We get some Baba Booey. Baba you know, Bowie. I was expecting a Baba Booey from this I guy. I don't know what that was. I don't but know this guy's was. a good guy. He good was good. Guy. Showing a little bit of love good from guy. South Beach. Good guy. I love South Beach. It's a nice place. And you know what? If it is safe this weekend, you can go down there, depending on what the authorities Listen say. to the authorities. You want to make sure that you go somewhere safe this weekend. That's you know, right. Especially after the, the storm and everything like That's that. That's right. Now, you're probably thinking at home, who are these guys? Do they really know anything about cooking? The answer is no. And yes, it's a mix, because just like you and me and everybody else out there, everybody's good at cooking. It's a common misconception that nobody can cook. So I said no there to tease you, because people might think I don't know how to cook, but guess what? If you're into having a good weekend, you can cook. You can cook, uh, you know, things that are especially easy to cook. One, 
quail. <clears throat> Two, hot dogs. Three, right. hamburgers. Four, cheese. Uh, five, melted onions on a grill of cheese. Uh, cheese flavored Fritos. There's That's a million right. things you can cook that are real easy, that aren't difficult. You got the power and the skill. That's right. Okay. That's right. Captain That's right. Planet. He needs you. Yep, you got all the power as much as you want. And I gotta say, a lot of things are affordable around this time of year. You know, we're wrapping up the summer. It's a nice holiday weekend. Look out for those sales that go on just for this weekend. You know, you can get two for the price of one. You can get three for the price of one. That's right. You know, and that's a good thing. It's a question. Guess what? It's a good old... See, that, that's a lesson. Don't litter. That's right. It's a good old-fashioned watermelon, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this holiday weekend, you're going to see a lot of these. Carla, are you cooking watermelon? A little bit of watermelon on the side. That's right. That's a, yeah, nothing exactly. better than a good watermelon. You wash it down with a little bit of watermelon, you are set for the weekend, my friend. That's right. You get silly and with it. A little it. bit of fucking on. All right. So, uh, again, it it's kind of sounds like the same guy has been calling over and yeah, over again. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's a very familiar voice. Big fan. Big fan of the show. It's Thanks. okay. We love you. We love everyone who calls. Thanks for calling. Um... Now listen up. He said he wanted a little watermelon on the side. Now you guys might be thinking, what do I do with the watermelon? What's a good way to eat a watermelon? Here's what I'm gonna tell you. Gotta get a, a knife of your choice. Careful, this is dangerous. This is very dangerous. This is very dangerous. If you're, if you're not a professional like us, because we have professional mustaches. That's right, that's right. You got a regular old watermelon like this. Now you wanna check the watermelon, you wanna make sure that it's tender enough to be cut. See how I'm checking it right now? That's right. Checking it, it's pretty tender, it's good, it's ready to be cut, which is good, you don't wanna get it too ripe, you know. It's ready to be cut. Make sure your knife is pretty strong. You want to just get it right in there and just cut down like that. You stay safe nope. by doing a little cut down. Where the thumb and the fingers are. They are far away far from the Far away blade. from the melon. Now you want to go straight in and down. Going to cut it straight through like that. You see that? You want to cut the watermelon right through. And this is what's important for all you people in the holiday weekend out there. You want to serve watermelon. It's such a wholesome fruit. It's so delicious. It, it, nothing says this is a relaxing time than a little bit of watermelon. Am That's I right? right. And watermelon mostly is water. I mean, think about it. It's water in melon, melon form. Right. Now, here's the thing I want to just tell everybody. You might not ever think of doing this, but clearly this is what we do with all the foods. Although it's a cold, savory dessert, you want to spice things up a little bit, throw it on the grill. Toss it right on the grill. You cook it down right there, a little bit of watermelon. That's right. Just on the bottom here, you never know what a little bit of hot watermelon, you actually can use this for steak sauce. It's a sweet steak sauce. You could use it maybe on your hot dog a little bit. It's a sweet little little addition to any type of food. I grill everything. everything. I, I grill, you know, fruit. Sometimes everything. I grill little veggies. Kiwis. Squirrel. I don't even care. Whatever I get it is. fruity with it. Nutty. Whatever it is. You get nutty, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Now, I want to make sure everybody out there has a great holiday weekend. Are you Staten Island just having a great holiday weekend? We're pretty sure we're gonna have a great one and I want to make sure everybody watching right now has a great holiday weekend. You guys better have a great Labor Day. That's right. We, we had a rough week. Now it's time to enjoy yourselves. Enjoy yourselves. So get out there, get some food, get some watermelon, That's get some right. hot dogs, get some juicy fruit and just enjoy. Enjoy yourselves. And uh, before we go, I think it's time we sing our, our traditional Labor Day song as we leave you guys tonight. Sure. That's right. Now, we do this at every grill party. This is called Labor Day. Labor Day. Oh, Labor, Labor Day. Day. Labor Day. Cutting some watermelon on Labor Day. And we're grilling some food. On Labor, Labor Day. Day. And we're cooking some meat. Here on Labor, Labor Day. Day, and I'm catching squirrels and putting them on my grill because I'm fruity. On Labor, Labor Day. Day. And what can you do this holiday? Labor, Labor Day. Day. And what else is good for this day? Mustaches. Mustache it Labor rides. Day. And finally, heat up that grill on Labor, Labor Day. Day. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great holiday weekend. You sing the song, you do the grill. Good night, everybody. You just got cooked. That's right. What's cooking, everybody?